Hey what's up, Jason here from Unity3D.College. In this video I just want to show a practical use for the onValidate method that's part of any mono behavior. So I've got here just a little ship game that I can press play, I can select a couple ships, you know, I pick the ships that I want with my controller or with the keyboard on the second player, and then I get in and I can shoot and blow each other up, right? But the part I'm talking about right now is the, the buttons for selection. So I've got three ships here and I've created two more ships and I want to show how I'd create these or update these buttons to make more buttons work and just have everything happen automatically. So here I'm just going to select the last button in my panel. So this is the panel right here. It's just that right there. I'm going to select the cruiser button, duplicate it. And now here you see on the ship select button script we have a ship prefab. What I'm going to do is just change this over and pick the scout and watch what happens. The image changes and the button name changes. And the way that happens is in the onValidate method here, first we just cache the local image if we don't have one. So that's the child image of this, this object. But then we check to see if we have a ship prefab. If we do, we set the image's sprite to the ship's sprite. And then we set the name of this button to the ship's name plus button. And if we take another quick look at that, if I go back to the ship, so that each ship just has a sprite assigned on it right here, and then a description that's going to show up down below when we're playing. So I've got one in here. I created this scout button, or this scout ship. Now I want to add another one for the laser cruiser. Again, I'll just duplicate it, drop the laser cruiser there, and I'm done. Now I just hit apply. All four of these will update, save and press play, and we should be good to go. So I join in and now I can select any of these. Now the main reason that I like this is that I don't have to worry about um, mistakes. Like I can't accidentally name this button for something and then not update the prefab. Or I can't have the image be wrong, at least not easily. So that's one of the key things I like about onValidate. It just automatically validates this stuff, updates it to the way that I want it to be. So if you're not using onValidate, just think about ways that it might be helpful for you in some of your projects and you know, consider trying it out. So if you like this video, don't forget to like and hit subscribe and thanks again for watching.